like a child, so they won't see me. You look like a very, very handsome child. I don't know if that's a good thing to say. Come sit with me. Hello. Hi. How are you, Carpet? I'm good, Olela. Oh, How are you? I'm fantastic. You look very nice. Thank you very much. And I and my staff too. So yeah. So Get a wife. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Get a wife. Anyways. Um, What's on your yeah. mind? I wanted to speak about spiritual health today. Okay. And I think it's a, it's a very important thing. So I think I have to give a bit of background mm -hmm. into myself and uh, the spiritual, my spiritual life, basically. Okay. Uh, for me, okay, growing up, I, I was like, you know, I consider myself as a Christian. I was not born again or anything like that. I was Christian because that's what I knew. Um, but when I was young, I did, you know, pray. I, I prayed to God, so I, I did have a personal relationship with God. In that, you know, when I when I prayed, you know, I'd, I'd like I'd, I would speak to Him as 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 a, as a friend, mm. and I would pray. And one of the things that come to mind that I prayed for, that I prayed really hard for, um, at the time my, 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 my dad was not in my life. Um, him and my mother were very young when they had me. My mother was 17. So um, she was, uh, you know, she was still in school when I was growing up and my dad was just not around. So I basically grew up with my grandmother and I stayed in boarding school. Right. And so most of the friends that I had and, you know, people that I was around, you know, they had fathers, you know, they speak about what their dad did and, you know, did all of this. So I, I, I used to, I used to pray about it a lot. Yeah. Like to the point where I would cry, you know, I'd, I'd cry, and, you know, myself to sleep about it. And then I was blessed that, you know, uh, my, my parents ended up, uh, getting back together and then they got married in 2006 if I'm not mistaken so I was in grade 6 and yeah so my relationship with my dad was not uh, you know the easiest one because mm. he was uh, you know it was very hard on me I expected you know this guy is gonna <laughs> you know always give me what I want and you know do all of these things that I want but no he was he was very hard on me he made me do difficult things you know he made me clean up around the yard he made me do really difficult things which i didn't understand at the time i just you know i it got to a point where i even forgot that you know i had prayed for this you know and mm. you know yeah like I, I i would just um i like i just had that um that thing i didn't like him anymore because you know before he came into the picture it was just me and my mom i ended up living with my mom by the way but it was just me and her and then you know it I'd say generally, you know, things were peaceful. Yes, she whooped my ass every now and then. I was naughty, uh, but generally things were okay. And then when he came to the picture, I need to be doing my own laundry. I need to be, you know, I need to be cleaning up the yard. I need to be, you know, sweeping up my room. Like what, bra? Come on, who are you? Anyway, <laughs> so I was not very happy with that. And yeah, so as I grew up, I kind of lost that relationship with God, right? Yeah. I got to a point where I became almost like an atheist of mm. sorts. And then I went to uh, a, a Muslim high school, right? And so also that thing of getting into different environments with people uh, of different backgrounds, you know, it kind of diluted my relationship with God. And, you know, I only prayed when I was in trouble. Mm. One thing that comes to mind was uh, I, I was dating someone who had uh, like a, a very big brother. I think I was in grade eight, she was in grade seven, and the big brother was in grade 10. And he found out about the relationship. And this guy was notorious. He was known in the school. So like, and Guti, like he could. <clears throat> so he found out about the relationship and I prayed. That was the first time that I prayed in a while. So yeah, I only prayed when it was just going to be like when it, you know there were like real difficulties. But I did not have a relationship with God. And then as time went on, I considered myself as an agnostic. You know, mm. I you know I knew which is God because 
you know, there was these things like these, uh, you know, Big Bang Theory and all these things. And they just didn't make sense to me. I, I knew Wuti, there's something, there's something after. I just didn't know what that was. Which yeah. is why I was saying, you know, you know, agnostic. So as time went on, you know, I got into stuff like um, yoga and I'd be listening to gurus. And, you know, um, I remember I read this book um, that Steve Jobs had recommended. Uh, the book was Autobiography of a Yogi and that that book also opened my eyes like spiritually I also got into things of ancestral worships mm. you know where I you know I would you know burn in purple and you know all of these things but it was never uh, by God's grace like I I never got fully into these things because even with the, the yoga like you have to be Initiated, especially with Kriya Yoga, the one that I was into, you have to be initiated by someone who is in in it. Mm. So, and I looked around like for for people around that I could go to and get initiated, and you know, thank God that I didn't find people. And I was even planning to go to India, where you know all of these things are happening. Really? And, yeah. <laughs> and so with the um, with the ancestral things. Uh, I was just burning in purple. I got like candles. Yeah. And, you know. Um, so I, also my dad, he he was into the stuff, but not like very deep. Mm. But he used to burn in purple. You know, my mom, uh, she she was a, a Christian, mm. uh, but like you know, yeah. I'm also on the fence about it. I remember one thing that strengthened her her Christianity was that in two thousand and seven. In two thousand six, she had a child. 2007 the child passed on she was six months mm. old and then i remember at the time like her relationship with god kind of strengthened mm. um yeah but then throughout it kind of you know was a bit hazy we got to a point where you know now she was also talking about the bepo thing yeah and all these things so um yeah there was just a lot of haziness when it comes to things of the spirit so I told my dad that I want to see Sangoma because for me, like, uh, with, with things of, when I got into these things, it's like, okay, if I want to get into these things, I can't just touch the surface. Like, I need to mm, do everything mm. that is in this thing. So I was like, okay, I need to talk to Sangoma to find out. But, uh, um, you know, I'm blessed that my dad told me, with, okay, that I must not do because, you know, once I start, uh, it will never end and I'll just be wasting a lot of money on these people. So I never got to go there. So would you say that these things worked? No. They didn't. Like, I, 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 I don't... Like, there's nothing that I can point to. Yeah. That I can say. So, it's like I said, I never got into any type.